Hey y'all, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, thank you so much for joining me again on another video. I am Sharanda, um, just speaking on what God has me to speak about. Um, I felt led to um, do this video on here today. Um, I just felt it in my spirit to do this today, okay? And what I noticed is that, you know, you can be the most nicest, sweetest person in the world. Deliver a message with love and there will still be people that find something negative about you that they feel as though they need to talk about or speak on. I am not perfect. I am flawed like everybody else. Um, I pray over every every message I deliver um, in this ministry that it reaches who it needs to reach. Um, just because you hear a message, just because you take your time to listen to a message does not mean that message is specifically for you, okay? Every message is not for you and that is okay. And it may be for you, but you refuse to accept it, okay? Um, it's no different from when you go to church and you hear a sermon preach. Every sermon is not going to be for you, but I guarantee you somewhere within that sermon, there was something in it that was for you, even if it was just one word or one sentence. But if we approach a message with a already defensive heart or already, you know, looking for something to to pick out of it and tear apart, um, feeling, you know, like you always have to defend or say something or point out something negative, you miss the positivity of the message that is being delivered. I am very careful what I say on here, and I always pray to God before I even record, okay? I'm always in constant prayer. You know, God, if, if I don't need to say it, don't let me say it. Stop me in my tracks, correct me, and convict me, all right? I don't mind being convicted. All right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay. Correct me. Okay. But what I am not going to do is accept negativity on this channel. All right. If you take the time to leave negativity in the comments, I take my time to delete them. And the reason being is because I don't do negativity. All right. Um, this is a platform that, you know, God gave me the channel he, he gave me and I keep it clean. I have nothing to do with how you receive the message. All I can do is pray that you will receive it. And we are not going to be all of one accord and that is fine. We will have our differences, but you are you and I am me and that is okay. Um, I don't get on here running off at the mouth. If I feel something in my spirit to speak on, you best to believe that message came from God. I don't doubt it, but what I realize is that many will come along and doubt some or all the message that has nothing to do with me. My job, my assignment is to deliver the message no matter what negativity may come with it. Uh, when a message is delivered at church, if, if there is something said that you don't agree with, what do you do? What do you do then? You walk away from the church. You don't go back. The best thing to do is to pray about it and ask God to help you with what you don't agree with. I am not a people pleaser. I am a God pleaser. All right. So, yes, there will be times when you hear a message, whether on here or somewhere, somewhere else, that you have a problem with. But you have to remember, every message is not for you. You don't have to always say something negative. And, and when you do say something, you are pointing out something you think in your mind is negative, all right? What was positive about the message? That's what you need to be asking yourself. What was positive about the message? We're about positivity. Um, you mentioned nothing about that. So sometimes we have to check ourselves and ask God to help us as we are listening to these messages on these um, social media platforms and not trying to take offense to what is being said all right you can't always take offense to what is being is being said unless it's just totally you know against god and against his word and if all you have to share is negativity toward a message or sermon that you that you heard maybe you need to change the way you think and perceive things okay maybe um the reason why i said that is because god is intentional um you you seen the message and clicked on it for a reason. And as we grow in Christ, Christ changes our mindset. And as he does that, our perspective changes. 
we can't listen to that message seeking out something negative to say about a message and then too thank you lord for this thank you holy spirit then too people will hear something you say and twist it and they'll say you said something and you didn't even say it your approach is wrong and with doing this you will miss the whole message and here's something that wasn't even said or take the message the wrong way and i felt like i needed to say this on here because being on here isn't a plaything for me it is a ministry and i care about the people that are subscribed to this ministry and they don't need your negativity either um i am very protective over my subscribers <laughs> i am um i pray for y'all that I, i'm able to say something um on here for you that is for you because i believe god brought y'all here it adds he asked the increase not me um i do know that i am not going to be for everybody but i will always be for god and what god wants me to do and say that's what i'm gonna do and say but just know i keep it clean over here on the, on this platform on this channel so if you decide to leave a negative comment and not a positive one, your comment will be deleted. Okay? All right. I do not play about that. I keep it clean. Um, I address what is being said like I am now and keep it moving forward in whatever direction God wants this ministry to be in. And the reason why I chose to address it because that's what you do in a ministry, you address things in a godly way and not avoid it because it affects the ministry if not addressed. So have your way, Lord, in this ministry. Just like you gave me this ministry, Lord, I give it back to you. I invite you in, Lord. Not that you need an invitation, but just to let you know you are welcome in here. Come on in and take a seat, Lord. Bless it and add to it whatever you need to do through it whoever have your way lord strengthen me daily to continue on never let me be a people pleaser but let me always focus on pleasing you no matter what in jesus name i pray amen all right so that's all i have for you all today um i have another message that i am going to record tomorrow um and I will see you all in the next video. And I hope and pray that um, if you are new, I am so glad to have you all on here, okay? So glad to have you on here. And if you feel like this channel is, you know, for you and it has, it has been helping you um, since you have been a su subscriber of this channel, then please make sure you share this channel with other people as well. Um, like i said i'm not the one to add the increase god does and i thank him for every increase um every increase all right so i will see you all in the next video and please make sure that you enjoy your day all right do not let the devil tear you down all right i'll see you all later